Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and this is a demo of my Quilcom 4DS, which is a four delay system effects plugin. The four delay lines are independently set completely, and you have a logarithmic scale for the delay time going between one millisecond up to ten seconds. An important feature of the 4DS is this input routing matrix. This enables you to set the signal path and input levels for the whole delay strip. So uh, here we've got the global feedback and the live at maximum level. If we just click in the empty space here and we can set whatever inputs we like to any of the delay lines. We can connect them all in series this way, uh, cross connect them, set them in parallel or whatever configuration you fancy experimenting with. If you double click on one of these little orange knobs like that it goes away and mutes that particular input or we can mute them all the inputs there. So. Here we go. That's what we do. Just drag up in the empty space and we can set the levels. And just having the, the active knobs displayed, I think, helps to visualize the signal routing. Another point is that each delay line, 1, 2, 3, and 4, can receive an input from its own output. So if I set the global feedback to 0 and turn up uh, the output from delay line 1, we get an echo. Each delay line has the, uh, the switch here which can swap left and right and uh, for this quick demo I'm using a test synthesizer on Octop which is um, it's a three note chord left, right and centre so one note is left, one right is one in centre to give you um, an impression of the, uh, the stereo performance. So if I play a chord here... <laughs> Then you can hear the uh, the panning from left to right or ping ponging, and if you where is it? If we remove the left channel, so it's just a mono input, we have a full ping pong effect. You've got uh, two sine wave LFOs, and the levels can be set together here and these are used for modulating the delay times so if i press a note <laughs> so that's useful for creating chorus and uh, flanging effects the LFOs could also be used to simulate uh, wow and flutter that you might get on a, an old tape echo device. This is quite a subtle effect, so you need to turn the level down quite a bit so you can adjust these knobs. This is the wow and flutter bit. You can make up more extreme if you wish. And we have analog emulation for such things here. Let's turn that on. So if you want to, you can add hum at 50 hertz or 60 hertz if you're in America. You can add noise. You can play around with the noise with the delay system, which is quite nice. saturation and a high pass filter and a low pass filter and these are all turned on and off here these little volume controls at the end is the output mixer for the uh, delayed the four delay lines now you don't have to listen to all of them they can still be active so you mix the proportion and the levels here so here i've got a simple system 
where all of them receive an input and there is a delay with reducing value for each one. Now you can really mix things up with this uh, input matrix. So we have on this one we've got different delay times and some odd routing and rerouting of the signal. So I'll just show you some complex echo presets. So that gives you a lot of choice if you want to make these uh, weird echo configurations. Each delay line can be set up quite differently. So in this example we've got um, a simple chorus just listening to delay line 1. And that was me just bypassing the effect there. So there's nothing to stop you from having different chorus delays, different mixes, swapping left and right channels to get a really uh, quite thick sound. <laughs> No, it's no surprise that we can do flanging. So this is just a uh, single delay line set to flange using the LF one FLO LFO to modulate the uh, the rate of change. <laughs> To reduce the feedback, we want a less pronounced effect, of course. And again, there's nothing to stop us from uh, really mixing it up with the, uh, the routing of different LFOs going in different phases to give uh, some very rich flanging type sounds. You can even adjust this thing and set it up so you make something uh, approaching uh, reverb type sounds. Here's another reverb type sound which uh, I think sounds a little bit like a spring echo and this is using the analogue emulation for filtering the tail. So what if a maximum of 10 seconds delay isn't sufficient? Well you can easily configure this to have the, uh, the live input on uh, delay 1, then delay 2 comes to delay 1, delay uh, three comes from delay two and this one comes from delay three and we just listen to the output from delay four these are all connected in series now so this makes say with three seconds delay set on each one this makes a 12 second delay <laughs> So that allows you to make 
what I believe is called Frupertronics. Uh, where you have long delay times with uh, looping and fading uh, clips. Now, if you experiment and use your imagination with this thing, you can have uh, an echo system with flanging just on the repeats. Or echo and then chorus. Now you don't have to use feedback in this uh, preset you've got a start and delay of uh, 400 milliseconds and then three repeats following it 100 millisecond apart. And of course there's plenty of room for silliness. Now, as always, there's some stuff I haven't talked about which uh, is in the user guide, so to get the most out of it, have a, a read through that, please. And uh, I hope you enjoy this thing, have a bit of fun with it, and uh, until the next time, bye!